Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got the newbie drone Savage Bee in the mail and I was super excited about it. When I got it out of the main newbie drone box, I was like, wait, how is this thing so small? I thought it was bigger. In the pictures, it looks a lot bigger than in person. It's almost the same size as the hummingbird box. Isn't that crazy? Let's go ahead and get straight over to the desk and get this Savage Bee out of the box. I did get the two cell version, so I wanted it to fly a little bit more like a five inch. So here we have it, Savage Bee. Let's go ahead and look what's under it here. This is a gem fan props, I believe, that they send with it and then also the screws. So that's what that is. And then here we have the Savage Bee. This thing is extremely small. I was thinking it was bigger because in the pictures it looks bigger than when you get it in person. It's so small. On this little Savage Bee, we do have the BI camera. I got the 8,420 kV motor. And then in here we have the Bee Brain Brushless FC. It has the ESC built in there. The VTX is in here also. So everything, it's kind of like an all in one board except for your receiver, which they can solder on for you if you get the bind and fly. If you get the plug and play, you get to solder on, on your own receiver. So I did get this little connector that makes two one cell batteries, a two cell battery. So that's how I'm gonna be running it for now. I think in the future I might upgrade to like the XD30 and then just run one 2S battery. But for now, I'm gonna do it this way. The weight on this thing is so light. It's unbelievably light. All by itself, it's only 39 grams, which is incredibly light. And then with one nitro nectar, so if you stick one of these on there, the 300 milliamp, um, it comes in at 46 grams. And then if you stick another one on there, um, it comes in at 53 grams. So still pretty light with both on there. You aren't really gonna hurt anybody if you run into them, I wouldn't think. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air and see how it flies. Man, this little Savage Bee flew amazing and I could not recommend it more. I never stuck the screws in the props and it still did fine. None of my props flew off. I only did fly like five batteries total and I was enjoying it so much. So I wanna wrap this video up so I can go fly more. One thing I noticed, you're gonna to wanna to switch when you get this thing is your VTX power. It's only on five milliwatt, I'm not sure why they did that, but you can actually put this all the way up to 100 milliwatt, which is pretty impressive. How you're gonna to wanna to do that, and I, I'm gonna show you a OSD so you can see where to go to switch it out to 100, but on your controller, you're gonna to wanna to grab your throttle, put it up to middle, and then yaw to the left, and then while you're doing that, push your pitch up, and that will go straight into OSD, and then you can follow what I do here to go ahead and switch that to 100 milliwatt. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I will be making another video of how to hook up the Crossfire um, RX to it because I got the plug and play one because they didn't have any bind and fly ones available. So if you need to get the plug and play and then buy the TBS Nano RX separate, um, I'll go ahead and make that video. Um, how to solder it and then also what buttons you need to change on beta flight but i could not recommend this little b more in the future i think i will be making another video of comparing the i believe they call it these ph2 connectors compared to the xt30 and comparing how much difference it makes i want to upgrade that connector here sometime to see if that makes any difference at all but i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully I did not forget anything. Please leave me a like and also leave a comment. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.